Welcome, grades seven and eight, to another one of our science fair videos. In this one, we're going to talk about the main center part of your science fair project, and that's the graphs, the charts, and the results. This is after you've done your experiment, how can we display all the information that you found about your experiment? And depending on what type of experiment you were doing or what you were changing or what you were testing, you could have different types of graphs, charts, visuals, and then you're going to summarize that all or you're going to put that in actual words in the section called results. So you could have had a chart like we have here where you're testing different samples and on each day you might write how they're looking. You might write different things about the quality of that particular sample within your experiment. Maybe, for example, you're growing different types of plants. And so day one, you're going to say what sample plant one is looking like or what it's doing. Day two, day three, day four. Maybe it's their leaves, how they're, whether they're wilting or whether they're vibrantly green or, or whether they look healthy or whether they look extra large. You might even have a control group where you're not really changing anything with that but that's to see how the other things have changed. And so you might have a chart that looks kind of like this for your project. You might have something where you get numbered data. And in that case, you might be able to make a graph. Maybe you can make a bar graph where you have the different sections that are here and you have them at different levels in order to show maybe it was growing different plants. Maybe you chose to use different types of uh, liquids in order to grow plants. And so therefore, after you know three weeks time, you have the different plants here, here, and here, the measurements of their heights. So that way you can see at first glance exactly what you're trying to represent, exactly what your experiment found. And you might actually have three different graphs. You might have a graph, a bar graph, where you have the measurements after one week, another graph where you have it after two weeks, and another one where you have it at the very end after three weeks of time. You might have information that you can summarize and put in a pie chart. This might be, uh, let's say you are comparing an entire group, something that adds up to 100%. For example, let's say you tested 50 different people. And of those 50 people, you wanted to see what percentage uh, of their favorite colors they had. And so after all of your tests, you saw that 44% of people's favorite color was red, 31 was yellow, 19% was blue, and 6% was green. And you add those all up together and you get 100%. You get the entire population of people that you tested. And you can have a very clear representation of that as a pie chart. And whatever you choose to use. Now, sometimes you might not be able to do it in a chart, a graph, or, um, a, sorry, a chart, a bar graph, or a uh, pie chart. And so you might choose to add in visuals as well. So, for example, if you're adding Mentos to Diet Coke, maybe you have some charts and graphs that show how high it goes, or how much Coke came out of the bottle, or how much was left in or even compared to different temperatures of Coke, if that's what you were testing, and, or different amounts of Mentos that you added in. All of those things could be things that you test and you graph and chart, but you also might add some visuals or some pictures of your experiments along the way. Either way, you're going to need at least three different graphs, charts, or visuals that's going to be the main section of the center of your science fair project board. On top of that, you're also going to have a written section called the results. The written section for your results is basically taking those graphs, charts, visuals, and it's putting them in written form, putting them in sentence form. This is not your conclusion. This is just saying in written form, 44% of people that I tested, their favorite color was red. When I tested uh, the people, 31%, their favorite color was yellow, 19% was blue, 6% was green. So it's the written version of these charts and graphs that go in a section called results that is also in that center section of your science fair project.